Now we move on to the island of Taiwan, with the eastern coast of China to its northwest, the southernmost Ryukyu Islands to its east, and the Philippines to its south. Since 1950, this region has received 108 cyclone landfalls, 31 of those being as tropical storms, 24 Category 1 typhoons, 18 Category 2 storms, 19 major Category 3 typhoons, 13 intense Category 4 storms, and 4 powerful Category 5 landfalls here. The costliest cyclone was Typhoon Morakot, causing $3.3 billion in damages on the island. It also proved to be the deadliest storm, causing at least 461 fatalities. The last storm to make landfall was Typhoon Sulik earlier this year. In mid-August 1986, a tropical depression formed in the South China Sea to the west of Luzon. The system moved towards the southwest at first, then curving towards the east and then northwards, becoming Tropical Storm Wayne as it began to move towards the northwest. The storm continued to intensify, becoming a Category 1 typhoon as it approached the southern coast of China. The storm turned towards the northeast, passing very close to the coasts of China and Hong Kong. From here, Wayne continued towards the northeast, peaking as a Category 2 typhoon on approach to Taiwan before making landfall in the northern half of the island as a minimal Category 1 typhoon. The cyclone weakened to a tropical storm status as it moved back out over water. Wayne then stalled and moved southwestwards now, briefly becoming a typhoon once more before weakening again. As Wayne entered back into the South China Sea, it weakened into a tropical depression, staying this week for a few days as it turned back towards the south and then east. Then, Wayne became a tropical storm once more, not far from northern Luzon, and turned towards the northeast. The storm moved slowly, developing into a typhoon once more after around three days later. Wayne curved round towards the south, and then just west of south, peaking once more as a Category 2 typhoon as it approached the northern Philippines from the north. The storm then turned towards the west, weakening once more into a Category 1 typhoon, and then re-intensifying over the South China Sea, now moving west-northwestwards. Weakening once more, the erratic Wayne made landfall on Hainan, before finally making its final landfall in Vietnam as a strong tropical storm. As rain passed through Taiwan, well over 10,000 homes were damaged or destroyed, and 63 fatalities resulted. In the Philippines, heavy rain and flooding caused 36 deaths. In Vietnam, the storm destroyed thousands of houses, where it is thought that over 400 people lost their lives. In all, the storm caused damages of $400 million. In early September 2001, a tropical depression formed to the east of Taiwan and moved towards the northwest, where it became Tropical Storm Nari the next day. Nari moved towards the east-northeast and crossed Okinawa shortly before intensifying to typhoon status. Nari then moved out over the East China Sea, moving towards the west at first, before looping back east, stalling again near Okinawa where it peaked as a Category 3 typhoon, with sustained winds of 115 miles per hour and a central pressure of 960 millibars. The storm then moved back towards the northwest, weakening gradually as it did so, and then dipped southwards where it briefly lost typhoon status. Nari continued towards the southwest, re-intensifying to become a Category 2 typhoon until landfall in northern Taiwan. Nari quickly weakened over land, but maintained tropical storm intensity for two days as it slowly crossed the island. However, Nari weakened to a tropical depression as it left Taiwan, but again re-strengthened as it approached China, making landfall near Hong Kong as a tropical storm. Nari caused significant flooding in Taiwan, with nearly 50 inches of rain falling in some parts of the country during the storm's passage. In total, 104 lost their lives, and damages amounted to $443 million, all in Taiwan. In mid-August 2004, a tropical depression formed to the northwest of Yap, Micronesia, and moved towards the north, becoming Tropical Storm Ayer less than a day later. Ayer continued towards the northwest, gradually intensifying over open waters, becoming a typhoon for over a day before weakening for a short time. The storm regained typhoon intensity on approach to the Japanese Yayama Islands and passed over the islands as a Category 1 typhoon. Ayer peaked as a Category 2 typhoon as it skimmed the northern tip of Taiwan with winds of 105 miles per hour and a central pressure of 955 millibars. Ayer maintained Category 2 intensity until landfall in China where it dissipated. In Taiwan, there were 34 fatalities in total, mainly due to heavy rain and landslides. Similarly, in the Philippines, heavy rain here caused the deaths of 43. Millions were affected in China too, mainly due to flooding. In total, there were 107 fatalities and damages of $313 million. 
In July 2008, a tropical depression formed out to sea and developed into tropical storm Feng Wong shortly afterwards. Maintaining a westward heading, Feng Wong continued towards Taiwan, gaining typhoon intensity after 36 hours. The storm continued to intensify, peaking before landfall as a Category 2 storm with sustained winds of 110 mph and a central pressure of 960 millibars. The storm maintained typhoon intensity as it crossed Taiwan and struck China as a tropical storm. In Taiwan, many parts of the country dealt with power outages and flooding. In the Philippines, flooding also occurred here, with a total of 10 fatalities. In China, thousands of houses were destroyed or damaged, contributing to most of the total damage figure of $541 million. In total, 23 people died as a result of the storm. Just two months later, in September 2008, a tropical depression formed to the northeast of the Philippines and soon developed into Tropical Storm Sinlaku. The storm moved towards the north from here, developing at a fair pace, reaching Category 4 intensity within two days. The storm, now slow moving, edged towards the north while sustaining this intensity, peaking with winds of 145 miles per hour and a pressure of 935 millibars. Sinlaku approached the Japanese Yayama Islands, weakening as it passed to the south. The storm then approached Taiwan, there was only a Category 2 typhoon when it made landfall due to its slow movement. The storm maintained typhoon intensity as it crossed the northern part of the island, weakening to a tropical storm near the coast of China. Sinlaku then moved towards the east-northeast towards Japan, passing just south of Kyushu Island. The storm regained typhoon intensity for a short time as it passed close to the southern coast of Honshu, weakening once more due to its proximity to land. Sinlaku finally turned extra-tropical as it moved out to sea. The storm caused flooding in the Philippines and in Taiwan, where buildings and bridges were destroyed. In total, the storm caused up to 24 fatalities and damages amounting to over a billion dollars. In early August 2009, a tropical depression formed out to sea, soon developing into tropical storm Morakot. The storm moved slightly north of due west, strengthening to become a typhoon after 36 hours. The storm continued towards the west, south of the Japanese Ryukyu Islands, slowing down slightly before its landfall in Taiwan, still as a typhoon. The storm passed over Taiwan as a strong tropical storm, stalling as it emerged on the other side, finally moving into China two days later after its first landfall. Morakot weakened and turned post-tropical as it headed north. Morakot's influence reached the Philippines first, causing flooding of several feet in a number of towns and villages. Here there are nine fatalities. In Taiwan, the storm caused over a hundred inches of rainfall, resulting in severe flooding and mudslides. Over a million were left without power, with major agricultural losses. In China, the storm still delivered nearly 50 inches of rainfall, with similar results to those seen in Taiwan. In all, the storm caused 789 fatalities and damages of over $6 billion. In mid-September 2010, a tropical depression formed out to sea and moved towards the northwest. The system soon developed into tropical storm Fanapi and turned eastwards at first, before continuing north as it reached typhoon intensity. Fanapi was slow moving for a time, drifting northwards and then moving towards the west, still intensifying until it reached its peak intensity as a Category 3 major typhoon with sustained winds of 120 miles per hour and a central pressure of 930 millibars near the Yayama Islands. The storm made landfall in Taiwan near this intensity and continued over the island, maintaining typhoon intensity during its passage. The next day, Fanapi made landfall in China, still as a typhoon, weakening quickly once it moved inland. The storm caused torrential rain in southern Taiwan, the worst of it in Kaohsiung. In China, more flooding and landslides occurred, with the majority of the 147 fatalities occurring here. In total, the storm caused nearly a billion dollars in damages. Storms that find themselves in the East China Sea have usually passed through our next region, a chain of Japanese islands extending from the southernmost main island of Kyushu towards the east coast of Taiwan. From southwest to northeast, these consist of the Yayama and Miyako Islands, then Okinawa, followed by the Tokara and Osumi Islands furthest north. This section also includes the more isolated Daito Islands to the southeast. 
Since 1950, 101 cyclones have made landfall here, 39 tropical storms, 18 Category 1 typhoons, 20 Category 2 storms, 17 of both Category 3 and 4 typhoons, and a single intense Category 5 storm. Both the costliest and the deadliest cyclone was Typhoon Babe in 1977, causing $23 million in damages and 16 fatalities on the islands. Other storms may have been worse, however, though damage and death statistics were for the whole of Japan and not necessarily the islands by themselves. The last storm to strike here was Danas earlier this year. In early September 1977, a tropical depression formed over Micronesia and developed into a tropical storm whilst approaching Yap. Passing close to the island, the storm continued towards the west-northwest, slowing down some in forward motion before turning towards the north-northwest. From here, Babe became a typhoon well east of the Philippines and continued to strengthen as it made its way north. The storm intensified quickly, peaking as a Category 4 super typhoon with sustained winds of 150 miles per hour and a central pressure of 905 millibars. The storm passed close to Okinawa as a Category 3 typhoon, curving towards the west, making landfall as a minimal Category 1 typhoon near Shanghai. The storm soon dissipated. The storm caused strong winds, particularly on the island of Okinawa Bajima, where three in five buildings were significantly damaged or completely destroyed. Most of the damages occurred on the Amami Islands, with total damages in Japan amounting to $23 million at the time. 24,000 homes were also destroyed in China, with total fatalities across both nations reaching 26. In mid-September 1999, a tropical depression formed out to sea and stalled before moving towards the northwest, developing into Tropical Storm Bart as it began to approach the Japanese islands. The storm began to stall once more to the south of Miyakojima, though it intensified as it did so, passing closest to the island as a Category 3 storm. Bart went on to peak as a Category 5 super typhoon on its closest approach to Okinawa before continuing towards the north-northeast as it began to weaken again. Bart was still a Category 3 typhoon when it made landfall on Kyushu and a Category 2 storm when it reached Honshu, making it to Hokkaido just before transitioning into an extratropical storm. Significant damage occurred in Okinawa, where the storm claimed two lives. In Kyushu, the worst damage occurred with 16 further fatalities and tens of thousands of homes destroyed. The total death toll in Japan reached 48, with damages amounting to $5 billion. In September 2006, a tropical depression formed out to sea between the Philippines and the Mariana Islands and quickly developed into tropical storm Shan Shan. The storm moved towards the northwest, becoming a typhoon the next day and then continuing towards the west, maintaining typhoon intensity. Shan Shan then turned towards the north whilst located east of Taiwan and intensified further, peaking as a Category 4 typhoon with sustained winds of 140 miles per hour and a central pressure of 919 millibars near the Yayama Islands. The typhoon moved directly over Iriomotejima and continued towards the northeast, making a second landfall on northern Kyushu, still as a typhoon. Shanshan soon turned extratropical afterwards. The storm caused significant damages along its route through Japan and also affected South Korea to some degree. In total, there were 11 fatalities and $2.5 billion in damages. Now for the eastern coast of China, another area that sees a lot of cyclone landfalls, especially further south. Indeed, towards the northwest, landfalls are not all that common due to cooler sea surface temperatures and the rather enclosed geography of the region. Along this coastline, 90 tropical cyclones have made landfalls, 48 of them tropical storms, 28 Category 1 typhoons, 5 Category 2 storms, 3 major Category 3 typhoons, 5 Category 4 storms and a single intense Category 5 super typhoon landfall. The costliest and most recent storm to strike the area was Typhoon Fito, causing $6.7 billion in damages. This eclipsed the previous storm's total $5 billion from Typhoon Herb in 1996. The deadliest storm was Typhoon Nina in 1975, resulting in 229,000 fatalities. Near the end of July 1975, a tropical depression formed over the open waters of the Western Pacific and moved southwestwards, slowing down as it turned towards the northwest after a while. At this point, the system became Tropical Storm Nina and continued towards the northwest, reaching typhoon status a day later. From here, the storm strengthened quickly, becoming an intense Category 4 typhoon the next day, and passed south of the Yayama Islands of Japan. 
Nina made landfall in Taiwan as a Category 3 storm and crossed the island, weakening into a tropical storm between Taiwan and China. Nina made landfall in the latter soon afterwards. In Taiwan, sustained winds reached Category 3 intensity with higher gusts and 28 inches of rainfall in some areas. The storm caused widespread and significant flooding, turning deadly when it caused 29 fatalities. Whilst China did not bear the brunt of the storm, heavy rains persisted here with over 60 inches near the Banquao Dam, which subsequently collapsed. As a result, the storm caused a catastrophic human cost, with nearly 230,000 dead. Total damages amounted to $1.2 billion. In July 1996, a tropical depression formed north of the Micronesian Islands and headed northward, staying well away from the Mariana Islands. The depression continued northwest and only gained tropical storm status after three days. Tropical storm Herb, as it was now named, progressed towards the west, intensifying along the way to become a typhoon. Herb then tracked just south of west over open waters and maintained Category 4 intensity for a number of days, turning back towards the northwest during this time. Herb now approached the southern Ryukyu Islands and peaked as a powerful Category 5 super typhoon with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour and a central pressure of 925 millibars. Passing just south of Iriomotejima, Herb continued onto Taiwan, making landfall here with winds of 150 miles per hour. Quickly weakening, the typhoon passed over Taipei and emerged on the western side of the island as a Category 1 typhoon. The storm intensified once more before landfall in China, striking here as a strong Category 2 storm. Herb then weakened over land and dissipated after two days of moving inland. The Ryukyu Islands were particularly affected by the storm, with Ishigaki the worst hit. Across the islands, damages amounted to over $6 million. In Taiwan, the storm caused significant flooding. Here, the storm likely killed 73. In China, similar conditions occurred, though on a much more severe scale, with total fatalities amounting to up to 517 here, and damages of over $5 billion. In August 2004, a tropical depression formed to the east of the Philippines, out to sea, and progressed northwards, developing into Tropical Storm Rananim as it did so. The storm turned towards the northwest, becoming a typhoon as it approached the southern Ryukyu Islands, passing through near its peak as a Category 2 storm. Rananim held its intensity until final landfall in China, where it moved inland and dissipated. Widespread heavy rainfall occurred here, and nearly half a million were evacuated. In total, nearly 200,000 houses in China were damaged by the storm, a fair percentage of which were completely destroyed. Up to 192 are thought to have died, with over 3,000 injured. At the end of July 2005, a tropical depression formed near Yap, Micronesia and moved towards the northwest, soon developing into tropical storm Matsa as it moved away from the island. The storm continued towards the northwest for two days before reaching typhoon intensity, which it held for a further three days whilst gradually travelling towards the southern Ryukyu Islands, passing through just before reaching peak intensity as a Category 2 typhoon. The storm weakened some before making landfall in eastern China as a Category 1 storm and held onto tropical storm status for some time inland. Matsa turned post-tropical along the Yellow Sea coast. Heavy rain fell first in Taiwan with over 30 inches reported in some locations. As a result, multiple landslides occurred with flooding, whilst gusty winds caused tens of thousands to lose power. In Taiwan, the storm cost $1.5 million. In China, conditions were more widespread, with five provinces reporting fatalities. In total, the storm caused 29 fatalities and damages of over $2 billion. That same year, in late September 2005, a tropical depression formed between the Mariana Islands and the Ogasawara Islands, and moved towards the northwest, soon becoming tropical storm Long Wang. Steady intensification took place, and in two days, Long Wang was a major Category 3 storm. Long Wang continued generally towards the west, maintaining Category 4 intensity for a number of days, slow moving at first, but gained momentum as it began to approach the southern Ryukyu Islands and Taiwan. The storm peaked with sustained winds of 145 miles per hour and a central pressure of 930 millibars. Long Wang made landfall in Taiwan near this intensity and continued on to China where it struck as a weakened Category 1 typhoon less than a day later. Long Wang moved inland and quickly dissipated. In Taiwan, the storm caused less damage than expected, but still caused three quarters of a million households to lose power and numerous landslides. In Taiwan, two fatalities were reported. China suffered worse despite the storm being weaker, mainly due to flooding. The storm caused a total of 147 fatalities and damages of nearly a billion dollars here. 
In July 2006, a tropical depression formed northeast of Yap, Micronesia, and moved towards the west northwest, turning more towards the northwest as it became Tropical Storm Billis. The storm kept a fairly steady heading all the way until its final approach to Taiwan, when it jogged towards the north before curving back west, striking the northern tip of the island before moving on to China, where it maintained tropical storm intensity for a full day inland, before weakening into a tropical depression. Even still, the system continued inland, slow moving now, for two more days before dissipating completely. Billis caused significant effects in the Philippines, where flooding and landslides took the lives of 14. In Taiwan, damages were little, though there were four fatalities. In China, the worst of the storm struck, causing more than half a million evacuations, and four million were affected by Billis. Flooding and landslides were again the main culprit, with total damages amounting to $4.4 billion, and 843 were reported dead, and a further 208 missing. In early August 2006, a tropical depression formed near Chuk, Micronesia, and moved towards the northwest, developing into tropical storm Sao Mai half a day later. The next day, the storm passed Guam and continued towards the northwest, becoming a typhoon as it cleared land. Sao Mai kept this intensity for a while before strengthening further, reaching super typhoon intensity as it reached the southern Ryukyu Islands, passing just north of Miyakojima as it reached Category 5 intensity. Sao Mai peaked as a Category 5 super typhoon with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour and a central pressure of 925 millibars. The storm then made landfall in China only a little weaker. Sao Mai moved inland, weakening quickly and dissipating two days later. The storm affected the Philippines first, resulting in nine fatalities. In China, most of the damage occurred here, where strong winds and flooding resulted. In total, the storm caused 458 fatalities and damages amounting to $2.5 billion. Now to our next region, covering the Korean Peninsula and further north into the Russian Far East. In southern parts of the Korean Peninsula, tropical cyclones are not infrequent, whilst further north into North Korea and Russia, most storms that strike are in the process of or have completed extratropical transition. In this region, there have been 79 landfalls since 1950, 56 tropical storms, 18 Category 1 typhoons, 4 Category 2 storms and a single major Category 3 typhoon landfall. The costliest cyclone was Typhoon Miami in 2003, resulting in $4.8 billion in damages. Typhoon Rusa the previous year was the deadliest, resulting in at least 238 deaths here. The last storm to make landfall was Typhoon Sanba in 2012. In August 2002, a tropical depression formed north of the Marshall Islands, heading northwestwards at first and developing into Tropical Storm Rusa after 24 hours. Rusa continued in that direction, travelling over the open Pacific waters. The storm continued to gradually intensify, reaching typhoon status after another day, and major typhoon intensity two days later. Rusa peaked as a Category 4 typhoon whilst approaching the Ogasawawa Islands, with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour and a central pressure of 950 millibars. The storm passed just south and continued west-northwest, now weakening. Rusa passed north of the Daito Islands as a Category 2 typhoon and crossed the Amami Islands as a Category 1 storm. Rusa turned towards the north and held its typhoon status right up until landfall in South Korea, crossing the peninsula and turning post-tropical as it moved back out over water. The storm caused significant effects on the Ryukyu Islands, killing two on Okinawa and causing power outages on the Amami Islands. On the main islands of Japan, the storm caused over 30 inches of rain on Shikoku and flooded a number of buildings. However, no fatalities occurred here. In South Korea, Rusa struck Jeju Island first, causing 26 inches of rainfall and widespread power outages. On the mainland, more torrential rain occurred, particularly in the city and surroundings of Gangneung. Here, 35 inches of rainfall caused the flooding of nearly 40,000 buildings. In South Korea, the storm caused damages of $4.2 billion and up to 246 fatalities. Similar conditions were reported in parts of North Korea, where three died. Flood damage extended as far as Sakhalin in eastern Russia, though no fatalities occurred here. In early September 2003, a tropical depression formed just north of Chuk, Micronesia. The storm moved towards the northwest, jogging northwards for a while before passing south of Guam. Shortly after its closest approach, the system developed into tropical storm Miami and continued towards the northwest. Miami became a typhoon two days later and a major typhoon after a similar amount of time. 
On approach to the southern Ryukyu Islands, Miami reached its peak intensity as a Category 5 super typhoon, with sustained winds of 175 miles per hour and a central pressure of 910 millibars. The storm began to weaken as it passed dangerously close to Miyakojima, close enough for part of the eye to pass over the island. Miami then moved due north, then turned towards the north-northeast and approached the coast of South Korea. The storm passed close to Jeju as a Category 3 storm and made landfall in South Korea with sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. Miami exited the Korean Peninsula still as a typhoon and turned post-tropical near Hokkaido, Japan. In Miyakojima, most of the island was left powerless and damaged over 100 buildings and injured almost as many people there. The storm also affected the rest of Japan later in its life, resulting in a total of three fatalities in the country and damages of nearly $100 million. In South Korea, worse conditions occurred with winds gusting into Category 4 intensity. 71 fatalities occurred in South Yongshan province and coastal areas were inundated with flood water. In total, the storm caused 117 fatalities in South Korea and caused damages of nearly $5 billion. In late June 2006, a tropical depression formed over open waters south of Yap State, Micronesia. The storm moved towards the northwest and intensified into tropical storm Ewiniar. The storm passed just west of Yap Island and continued out to sea, tracking generally northwestwards with variations throughout the next few days. The storm became a typhoon and intensified steadily from here, peaking as a Category 4 super typhoon with sustained winds of 150 miles per hour and a central pressure of 930 millibars. The storm continued towards the southern Ryukyu Islands, travelling slowly at first before accelerating a little as it neared Miyakojima, passing to the east. Ewiniar lost typhoon status over the centre of the East China Sea and continued northwards, clipping the western coast of Yezhou Island before making landfall on the South Korean mainland, soon turning post-tropical after doing so. The storm caused minimal damage on Yap, the location Ewiniar first affected. In Okinawa Prefecture, Japan, the storm caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages, along with nine left injured. In China, the storm caused deadly landslides which ended 34 lives, though damage totals are unknown, thought to be negligible. In South Korea, the storm caused significant damage, mainly flooding and landslides. Due to this, along with gusty winds, Ewiniar caused 62 fatalities here and damages of $2.2 billion. In North Korea, the storm also caused considerable effects, though the exact scale of this is not well known due to lack of information. In late August 2010, a tropical depression formed far to the west of the Mariana Islands and proceeded northwestwards, soon developing into tropical storm Kompasu. The new storm continued towards the Ryukyu Islands over the course of the next three days, becoming a typhoon along the way and crossed Okinawa shortly before becoming a Category 3 storm. Soon afterwards, the storm peaked in the East China Sea with sustained winds of 120 miles per hour and a central pressure of 960 millibars. The typhoon curved westwards, allowing for more time over water before striking the western coast of South Korea near Seoul, still as a typhoon. The storm caused power outages in Okinawa, where five injuries occurred. In South Korea, a combination of strong winds and heavy rain caused significant damages and the deaths of five people throughout the country. In North Korea, the storm caused the destruction of thousands of buildings and numerous but unknown amounts of fatalities here. In total, the storm caused 29 known deaths and damages of nearly $60 million. In August 2012, a tropical depression formed to the west of the northern Mariana Islands and developed into tropical storm Bolivan the next day. The storm moved northwards at first and then turned west and gradually intensified, reaching typhoon intensity more than a day later. Eventually, Bolivan peaked as a powerful Category 4 typhoon with sustained winds of 145 miles per hour and a central pressure of 910 millibars. By this time, the storm was making its closest approach to the Japanese Daioto Islands as it continued generally towards the northwest. The storm passed over Okinawa as a Category 3 typhoon and then proceeded towards the Korean Peninsula, passing west of Jeju and South Korea itself and made landfall in North Korea as a strong tropical storm. Bolivan survived as a tropical cyclone as it entered Russia but soon turned post-tropical at this point. Even though Bolivan struck Okinawa as a powerful typhoon, damages were only modest here. Heavy rains caused flooding in other parts of the Ryukyu Island chain, causing moderate damage amounting to over $5 million. Two fatalities were reported here too. In South Korea, the storm caused significant losses, both agricultural and in property damage. The storm caused 19 fatalities across the country. In North Korea, flooding and landslides occurred here as well, along with tropical storm force winds. Damage was widespread and severe in some areas, destroying thousands of buildings and killing 59. In all, the storm caused up to 144 fatalities and damages of nearly half a billion dollars.